of you guys, it's not seen here. Now, after using the iPhone 12 Pro Max for about a year now, the one thing that kept coming to my mind after using it on a day-to-day -day basis was this one simple statement that I think explains the iPhone 12 Pro Max pretty perfectly. And that statement is, I think that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is still one of the best phones that you can get in 2022. And I say that because when you think about it, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is better than a lot of newer phones and can pound for pound beat them in the most important categories. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a top tier camera that can capture high quality photos. It has a 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR display that not only has great size, but also great resolution. It has a 3687 milliamp hour battery that can last you all day without having to sacrifice high settings. And last but not least, it has a powerful A14 Bionic chip that can run any power heavy app very well. And many people think that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is old news, but if I'm being honest, I think that if the average person were to get this phone, they would be more than happy because the 12 Pro Max still holds up really well in 2022. But besides my reasonings for why the 12 Pro Max is such an amazing phone, I wanted to give you guys my experience with it so that you can see if it's the right fit for you. Now, the first thing that I loved about using the iPhone 12 Pro Max after one year was the amazing software. Now the software on the 12 Pro Max was as stable as any other iPhone there is in the market. Like right here, you can see me scrolling through the OS and I didn't really get any trips. The phone wasn't laggy. Again, I didn't get any crashes and the phone overall ran really smooth compared to any other flagship in 2022. I also really loved how when I was playing power heavy games like Call of Duty, you can see that there was no lags and I'm able to play the game as smooth as possible, which was a great representation of the OS as a whole. And the final thing that I loved about the software on the iPhone 12 Pro Max was how well it connected to my other devices. Like whenever I took a photo, it was saved to my computer. Whenever I saved my passwords, all of my Apple devices used them as well. And whenever I was shooting a video, I will airdrop my photos to my MacBook so that I can easily edit. And things like that made the software experience so much more easier for me. And it's also the reason why Apple's OS is so known, because again, it makes my life easier. Now, the next thing that I loved about using the iPhone 12 Pro Max after one year was the pretty great battery. Now, the battery on the 12 Pro Max was really good when it came to how much I use it in my everyday life. I will average about six to seven hours of on-screen time doing work on my phone, on social media, and even recording videos. And at the end of the day, I will have about 11% battery left, which was really good since I record videos on it almost every day. And on days where I wasn't using it as much, I would end my day with about 20% battery left, which again was pretty good. And something else that I loved about the battery on the 12 Pro was that the charging times were actually pretty fast. Like whenever I would forget to charge my phone at night, I could charge it up in the morning and it would still be on 100% by the time I was done, which was really amazing and practical. The only problem that I have with my 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max is that it's harder to connect to my wireless charger. But again, besides that, it's pretty fine. Now, the next thing that I loved about the iPhone 12 Pro Max after using it for one year was the amazing display. Now the Super Retina XDR display on the 12 Pro Max was definitely one of my favorite displays that Apple has ever produced. I really admire how much Apple put into this display because it's the same as the 13 Pro Max in terms of quality. Like right here, you can see me scrolling through the OS and I really liked how smooth it was and still is. Everything was fluid and the overall feel when you're using the display is pretty great. I also really liked how precise the haptics were. Like right here, you can see just how fast it responds to the touch of my finger. I never got any lags. I never had to press on something twice for it to work and everything worked how I wanted it to. And the only thing that I didn't love about the 12 Pro Max's display was the fact that it had a 60 Hertz display. And as someone who's coming from a Samsung or Google phone, it made the phone feel much more outdated in comparison. But besides that, I really liked the resolution and entertainment experience. The size wasn't too big for me and was actually perfect when watching videos and movies. And to show you guys what I mean, here are some examples of me watching a video and playing a game. Now, the next thing that I loved about the iPhone 12 Pro Max after using it for a year 
was the really good speakers. Now the dual speakers on the 12 Pro Max were really good whenever I was listening to music or whenever I was watching the video. I also really loved the fact that I could play them anywhere and the quality didn't drop a bit which was really refreshing. The bass was also something that I loved about the speakers. Like whenever I would play one of my loud bass heavy songs, the bass hit harder than most smartphones. And something else that I loved about the speakers was the overall sound quality. Like there were times where I would watch a video out loud just because of how good they sounded. And the last thing that I loved about the speakers was just how loud they were. And to give you guys an idea of that, here's a speaker test. What's up you guys, it's not seen here. Now, after using the iPhone 13 Pro Max for about six months now, the one thing that kept coming to my mind whenever I was using it on a day-to-day -day basis was this one simple statement that I think explains the 13 Pro Max pretty perfectly. And that statement is, I think that the iPhone 13 Pro Max is the best iPhone that you can get in 2022. Now, the final thing that I loved about the iPhone 12 Pro Max after one year of use was the pretty great cameras. And I think that the 12 Pro Max's cameras had quality to the point where I could say that it's still one of the best in 2022. Like right here, you can see my outside daytime photos. And I would say that these were really great pictures that turned out really well. The skies were very blue, yet color accurate. The trees and other aspects of nature were very sharp. My face was pretty color accurate, especially when compared to other flagship phones in 2022, where it will look light at times. And the overall vibrancy of the outside pictures were great to no surprise. Now, when we look at the inside daytime photos, I will say that these were also really great. Like right here, you can see that there was no graininess no matter how dark it got. And my selfies were top notch when compared to other flagships. The quality got much better. The sharpness was still great. And the colors were very accurate, which definitely redeemed the camera overall. And when it came to video quality, the 12 Pro Max still had one of the best to offer. And to give you guys an example, here are some 4K videos that I took on it. And there it is you guys, my final review of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now let me know down in the comments, would you get the 12 Pro Max over the 13 Pro Max? If so, then why? And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around and don't forget to like the video and subscribe, it'll be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.